Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing the popsicle chain reaction. This one is might be a little bit difficult to do with one person. So if you're ever struggling, you can always call over, you know, a parent or a friend, sibling to help you with. And all you guys are going to need is your popsicle sticks. You guys have 200 and I just have 20 right now. But let's get started. So when you first start out, you want this chain to be on a long table or somewhere where it's long because this chain can be super long. And I'm going to start out by putting a popsicle stick diagonal this way. Then I'm going to take my next stick, the second stick here, and I'm going to go ahead and place it just like this on the first popsicle stick. It should be on top of it. A little bit can be hanging out at the bottom. And I'm going to move it a little bit less than halfway on the first popsicle stick. The next popsicle stick right here, I'm going to put it near the top of this first one right here. And it's going to be parallel to that first popsicle stick that we put down on the table. So here's when it's coming the hard part. And this is where you're going to want to hold it down by yourself or maybe ask someone to help you if you need it. So this popsicle stick, our fourth popsicle stick, our fourth popsicle stick is gonna go on top of this, the third popsicle stick you put on, it's gonna go on top of that one, it's gonna go underneath this one, and it's gonna be on top of this part right here. So, so you can also do it like this as well. But remember, no matter what, the, the fourth popsicle stick you put on, has to be under the first one and over the third one. I'm gonna move mines down like this so that way I can try to get the popsicle sticks closer together. And then there you go. So now if you guys hear that popping sound that's happening, that's because this end piece keeps coming up. And that's, so you want to kind of keep pressure on this end piece, but you also want to keep pressure on, we also want to keep some pressure on this part as well too. So these are your two pressure points where my nails are. So next comes the harder part. Let me, so you want to make sure these sticks have a lot hanging off at the bottom of them because this is where the weaving is gonna come in. All right, so now to continue with our weave, I'm gonna go underneath this popsicle stick and it's gotta be over on this popsicle stick. So I'm gonna lift up that popsicle stick right there and I'm gonna put it underneath just like that. And then I'm gonna slide it down just a little bit. You want, it's okay to have a little bit hanging off right there, that's actually gonna help you. And once you have this other fifth popsicle stick on, you can actually hold right here and it's gonna keep down there actually um, good. So you don't have to worry about everything popping up at you. And then we're just gonna keep repeating this pattern. So that stick I just put down, I'm gonna go underneath the one I just put down and I'm gonna go over the top of this one over here. And then I'm gonna move this up a little bit so that way I'll have a little bit of that stick on. And like I said, just keep going with that weaving under. So yeah. Like I said, it will slip, but you always just gotta be careful to watch it. So again, like I said, I'm gonna go underneath this one and you're gonna go over the top of this stick right here. And then you're gonna keep going until you run out of sticks or in my case, until you only have I only have 20, so I'm going to keep going until I run out of my 20 popsicle sticks.
All right, guys, I had a time skip there because I accidentally let go because my arms were getting tired. So I have another person in here with me helping me out so that way we can keep going and try to get to 20 popsicle sticks by the end. And if you ever have it where you seem like you're running out of room on your popsicle sticks, try to just slide it down as much as you can. So I'm gonna just slide it underneath there, put it on top. And remember to always keep pressure on these popsicle sticks because if you do not keep any pressures on the popsicle stick, at least in the end, or near where you're adding more to the chain reaction, it will definitely pop on you. So always make sure you're holding down as much as you can on your popsicle sticks. last one in and once you are finished you if you have someone else holding on to your thing at the same time you can also tell them to let go on it so if you have two people doing this at the same time once you finish putting the last one in whoever is on this end the end you just finished that's the person who's gonna let go and the other person is just gonna hold it down over here and then here is your reaction there you go and that's the popsicle stick chain reaction. <laughs>